So if you remember a while back, we talked about carbonyls that were conjugated to carbon-carbon double bonds. And so we had alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyls. And we talked about how there is this potential for reactivity at either of these two sites. So we can have the one, uh, what's called the one-two reactivity pattern. So that's going to be direct addition to the carbonyl. Or we could have the one-four reactivity pattern, or otherwise known as the conjugate addition pattern. Okay, so both of those are possible uh, with nucleophiles when you're dealing with this type of uh, conjugated electrophile. So we've just talked about aldol reactions and Claisen condensations where we're using carbonyls in a one-two fashion as electrophiles. If we uh, engage enolates with alpha beta unsaturated carbonyls, we can do now these conjugate additions, these one-four additions, and this is what's known as uh, a Michael reaction. So the Michael reaction is the addition of an enolate in a 1,4 fashion uh, to an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl. Okay, uh, so this is 1,4 addition. Okay, so there's uh, a, a number of different uh, circumstances under which uh, we can get Michael additions to happen, but the classic version is going to be where we take um, a 1,3 dicarbonyl, something that's uh, rather acidic, and then we're going to react it with an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl, so something like, like this ketone, so this is methyl vinyl ketone, um, and we're going to treat this with some base, um, again, an alkoxide that matches whatever ester we have. So we're going to form an enolate of this piece, and then it's going to do a nucleophilic attack, and that is going to then give us this product. Okay. So here was our beta keto ester that we formed an enolate and an added, and then here's our methyl vinyl ketone piece that served as the electrophile. So the uh, Michael addition of an enolate into an alpha beta unsaturated ketone uh, gives you a 1,5 diketone. Okay, so that's sort of how you can recognize it. If you see two carbonyls in a 1,5 relationship, um, that means that it, it likely came from a Michael reaction. Well, so how does this work? Okay, so we're gonna have our enolate precursor okay, with our alpha protons. And just like always, we're going to deprotonate to form an enolate. Okay. And then once we have that enolate, that can simply just do the 1,4 addition uh, to our uh, Michael acceptor, um, our, our uh, conjugated electrophile. So that enolate adds to that four position, and then we push the electrons up. Okay. And so do you see what happened here? So if we push those electrons in, right, and, and then the, the electrons up onto the oxygen, we're forming an enolate. So we're going from one enolate of, of our you know, original piece, and then we're, uh, by doing the Michael addition, we're forming an enolate of whatever the electrophile was, okay? And so then to end that off, all we're going to do is now protonate that new enolate. In this case, it's going to just grab a proton from ethanol. Okay, and there you have it. So that's that's just the um, the long and short of the Michael reaction. Um, and you you might notice here though that what you can do uh, with these products, if you've used a uh, acetoacetate or a, a malonate, um, you can then uh, do the decarboxylation of these products. So if I were to take this Michael product and then treat it with aqueous acid and heat. Of course, I would hydrolyze and decarboxylate, and so then the product I would get out of this would look like the following. Okay, 
where I've just excised that carboxyl group. Um, and now what this gives you is the product that formally, right, it formally looked like you had made the, the enolate of acetone and used that um, to do the Michael addition, which you could absolutely do. You could enolize using LDA and do a Michael addition um, in that fashion as well. It's just that the beta ketoesters allow you to do it with uh, alkoxide base, okay? I'll just give you one, one more example of a, of a Michael reaction. So in this case, um, let's use a diethylmalinate as our nucleophile. So diethylmalinate, and then we'll just use a, just a slightly more complicated um, electrophile here. So this is an alpha beta unsaturated ester in this case, instead of a ketone. And we have a beta substituent here. Um, and if we treat this with some base, we will get to this product. Okay, so there's our product, there's our Michael addition, and then if we do the decarboxylation step, what we will be left with is a diacid Yeah. Right, so again, we're excising that carboxyl group and we're just left with a two on the end. We'll also get hydrolyzed. So we'll get to this 1,5-diacid and where that, that methyl group, right, it was the one that was originally on the Michael acceptor. Um, but again, you can see it's a 1,5-dicarbonyl um, and that, that sort of cues you in that it's a Michael reaction. Now, just so, so that you know, uh, a Michael uh, addition can work between um, basically anything that can form an enolate and anything that can, uh, that can be a conjugate uh, electrophile. Okay, so um, we, can call these, we can call the enolate uh, pieces the donors, so we can have other Michael donors. Um, and, and again, this can just be um, almost anything. So you can have, uh, you can have malinate esters, you can have uh, beta keto esters. You can have one three diketones. Um, any anything else that's going to be uh, doubly acidifying. So one of these could be a nitrile. Um, you could even have. Um, you can even do things like like normal normal ketones, right? If you use a, a much stronger base like LDA. Um, those are certainly going to be fine as well. And then other Michael acceptors, okay? So th this really just encompasses um, an, an enormously wide range of, of materials. Um, so we could have alpha beta unsaturated uh, ketones. We could have alpha beta unsaturated aldehydes, um, alpha beta unsaturated um, esters. Um, and other things too. So we could have alpha beta unsaturated nitriles. Okay, so anything with an electron withdrawing group that's attached to an alkene. Um, and just in case you're wondering, um, uh, the way that it works is that when, when you form an enolate and the enolate sees these electrophiles that, that could either do a 1, 2, or a 1, 4 addition, um, they just tend to go with the selectivity where they do the most conjugated thing. Okay, so they're going to add to the to the, um, the uh, carbon, um, that beta carbon of the unsaturated system, um, rather than do the one to addition, okay? And so let me just show you just one, one sort of unorthodox um, Michael addition reaction and you can uh, sort of mull over. So um, I could take a nitromethane, right? So a nitro group is a strong electron withdrawing group. Remember we talked about that in the EAS uh, section, okay? Um, what that means is you could actually deprotonate alpha to a nitro group, okay? So we could then pair that up with um, an alpha beta unsaturated nitrile, okay? So something like this. And if I put in a relatively, um, you know, it's a weak base, uh, relatively speaking, but it, it'll be enough to deprotonate the nitromethane, what I'll get out of this is this Michael product. Okay, 
kind of bizarre there, but there's my nitromethane, right? So I would have formed an enolate at that position, and then it added into my unsaturated nitrile. So that's where the double bond would have been, okay? So this is the type of versatility that one can potentially get out of the Michael reaction. So it's a phenomenally useful reaction in organic chemistry.